Aloha, Percy Ihara here, publisher of Generations Magazine. And I'm here with our wonderful partners, Vacations Hawaii. I'm at their beautiful offices on Kapalani Boulevard. Season two continues, and here's what's coming up. On today's show, we see how senior volunteers help out at a historic Oahu property that's been turned into a living classroom. You'll meet an icon in Hawaiian music who always has a smile, and will join hundreds of seniors at the city's annual senior Valentine dance, including some famous faces. It's all ahead on Generations TV. Like Vegas, there's just one place to stay. Find it at the Grab a drink at the Holo Holo Bar, there's just one place to play. Find it at the we got a fresh hot look, a new sports book. We got those local meals, just like Auntie Cooks. Aloha, spoken here. Bet you find it at the Look now at thecal.com. Welcome to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. In 1969, the twist was the dance craze sweeping the world. And that's the year that the city and county of Honolulu started the annual Senior Valentine Dance. Now it's not only the twist, but the foxtrot, the waltz, disco, and everything in between. Okay, yeah, well today is the 50th anniversary of the Senior Citizens Program, Valentine Dance. We're at the Neil Blaisdell Center. We have about 800 seniors here from around the island. They are mostly representing our senior clubs from all of our districts, and we have representatives from outside agencies like Lana Kila, Pawahi, Pearls of the Orient groups as well. We've had about three marriages come out of Valentine dances that we know of. Now, we don't know about the other ones, but yes, it has happened. We've had them meet here at the dance, or they've actually proposed at the dance. So we've had some good times here. Earlier, we had the Royal Hawaiian Band playing live music. Now they're doing CDs, and one of the bigger draws is the song YMCA, when everybody goes out on the dance floor and, and dances to that. Who are you dancing with today? Well, a couple of very nice young boys came and asked me to dance, and my daughter and myself. The music is good, man. You lift up and just like exercise for the whole week. Yes, I like it. 36 years ago, I was with the Honolulu Fire Department. And I, I think only three people used to come to this then, okay? Look at it today, it's unbelievable. I'm glad to be here because Jitterbug was one of my high school favorites and most. And it stimulates my blood being here and meeting all my dear friends and know that all the kupunas came together. Aloha. It's a happy senior day. This is a senior. Uh, Valentine. So there's between from 55 years and up. We, say, we are young seniors. Yeah, yeah young, young generation, I would say. Uh, we old seniors, we love the rock music still because we've been there. And when I was young in the Philippines, oh, I used to dance the twist, everything. What's your favorite song to dance? I like disco. <laughs> I'm having a good time over here. This is my first time. I hope I'll be here next year. Are you dancing? Yes, I'm dancing. It's, it's, it's a good form of exercise, you know. As seniors, they got to move. We keep on moving. We love to see, hear the oldest because it brings back memories. Everybody can dance with anybody. I've done the cha-cha with a young man 12 years old. And I've danced line dancing with a gentleman from the fire department. So many different elements. <laughs> Literally hundreds of dancers gather each year for the annual Senior Valentine's Dance. 
The energetic Kapuna come from over 30 different senior clubs and dozens of special guests make it even more special, including the mayor, his cabinet, city employees, newscasters, athletes, and local celebrities. Carlton Yamada, Battalion Chief. I'm here today to participate in the Seniors Valentine's Day dance for us to show, show support, to show our steps, and show our skills with Dancing with a Kapuna. We're so happy to be here and um, again, just to show support from the fire department. Kirk Caldwell, Mayor, City and County of Honolulu. It's about celebrating with our seniors. We do a great program around this island. You see them today coming out and dancing. They have more energy than young folks do. They're as cooler hipper than young folks. As mayor, it just brings joy to my heart. It's 50 years of doing this. I want to thank Bank Foy for being the lead sponsor and everyone else. It's all good today. I enjoyed today. I'm from Pali Seniors in Kailua, and I dance with the Chief of Fire. That's Manny. With him, with his steps, I can dance like a queen. Joke is, what is the real purpose of Valentine's Day? To remind single people that they're still single. And the single people call it the Single Awareness Day. For more information about participating in the Senior Valentine's Dance or to join a senior club in your neighborhood, call the Department of Parks and Recreation at 808-768-3045. Did you know compelling new research published in top medical journals links inflammation to heart health, brain health, and even lifespan? That's right. Physicians and healthcare professionals now agree the key to health and longevity is managing your inflammatory health. I agree. I agree too. Absolutely. I concur. So why don't we manage inflammatory health with these well-known anti-inflammatories? The answer, the risk of side effects from chronic use. The truth is, there are no anti-inflammatories safe enough for chronic use. Until now. Introducing Xanthacin, the safe anti-inflammatory for health and longevity. Visit GNC, your neighborhood inflammatory health center, to learn more. When you're going over your Medicare options, the different plans can be confusing. At Copeland, we'll be happy to help you select and customize the health plan that best fits your needs and budget based on your current providers and medications. We provide the service at no cost or obligation to you. And something you might not be aware of, you could be eligible for financial help to pay for your prescription drugs. If you have questions about Medicare, we have the answers. Call Copeland Insurance Group at 808-591-4877. It's time for another Generations TV resource moment. Shining the spotlight on people, organizations, businesses, and services that benefit Hawaii's kupuna. A very well-known name in the islands is Kaiser, and with us here at the Aging in Place Conference is Brandy to talk about several different things. I'm a licensed sales representative for Kaiser Permanente for our Medicare plan. But you're also wanting to help people out with fall prevention and different kind of safety issues around the house. Yes. We actually do health education talks with different communities in um, different groups in the communities that we serve, so that's nice. We want to make sure everybody's safe at home. Okay, so like a senior a group, an organization, if they want to get you out there to talk about these different issues, you'll come out and do that? Yes, we will. Like uh, we, we do a lot of different uh, community center senior centers with the city and county. What's the biggest problem with seniors right now? Uh, fall risk is actually one of the biggest issues right now because when, you know, if we can prevent it, great, keep everybody active and healthy and at home. How do people get in touch? They can give us a call at our health education department or at our Medicare sales department at 432-5915. Great. Thank you, Brandy. For details on next year's conference, go to generations808.com. I joined Body and Brain Yoga and Tai Chi at age 80. I am now 90 and am physically and mentally healthier than I've ever been. Experience health and happiness at Body and Brain Hawaii. Welcome to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. 
The Manoa Heritage Center in Oahu's lush Manoa Valley is a three and a half acre private property owned by the prominent Cook family. With the help of volunteers, the property has been turned into a living classroom dedicated to promoting Hawaii's cultural and natural heritage. I'm Suzanne. I turned 70 years old last week. Um, generally, the adult tours are two in the afternoon. And um, I start out by talking about a little bit of history of the place and about the resources that were available to the Polynesians when they, came, they found this place. I talk about um, the Cook family and their intense affection for the host culture and the things that they have learned from that culture and have been able to share with um, the rest of us. The contribution that the kupuna make is beyond measure. It's um, not just the time that they contribute to the actual tour, but it's their expertise and their knowledge and all the years of life that they've lived. And to see that being shared, I think is really important. You know, that intergenerational transfer of knowledge. You know, these aren't things that you can learn on YouTube or on Instagram. It's things that people have learned over the years. Volunteers run this world. And I really believe that if we all stopped volunteering at the same time, we would stop spinning on our axes. And so it's really up to the volunteers who can share a little bit of their time to show this place's amazing history and the resources that are available to us. And we can do it by speaking from our hearts. I'm Lara, and I, I will be 62 soon and I'm a, a volunteer docent here at Manoa Heritage Center. My favorite part of the Manoa Heritage Center is the heiau, and the name of the heiau is Ku Ka O'o. And I have here an O'o. It's the Hawaiian digging stick. Ku Ka O'o is between 800 and 1,000 years old. And there used to be 14 heiau between the back of Manoa and Waikiki and now there is just this one intact one. And in 1992, this is what it looked like. And Sam and Mary Cook hired an archeologist to go digging through the four brasher trees. And when they cleared the vegetation, this is what they found. So Sam and Mary Cook bought this land back from a developer and had the master wall builder Billy Fields and his crew from the Big Island come and rebuild Kuka O'o. I like volunteering because, because there's so much that needs to be done. And if you want it done the right way, then get up and do it, <laughs> and do it your way. I think it's important that we um, honor our kapuna and give them an avenue to share what they know. Manoa Heritage volunteers not only help with tours and garden upkeep, but also lead workshops in a variety of subjects. We love having the Kapuna come down to the Manoa Heritage Center and learn things and we also learn from our Kapuna. Um, so it's a great exchange, a symbiotic re relationship with, with our land, our ancestors and our people here now. My name is Allison and I'm all of 70 years old and I got lucky enough to get into Tamsin's basket making class that is full to the brim and it's a, a real treat to take this class because I'm a teacher and it's nice to be on the other end and sit back and learn something new to know that we all have things to share with each other. Everybody has a skill and it's nice to pass them along. I can't believe I'm 70. I don't know how that happened. I was just getting used to the 60s and look where we find ourselves. What I get out of this place just can't be measured. I get to learn more about the native and the introduced plants that have been so beneficial. I get to be in the, in the air and, and see the green and living things all around me and, and meet people who are just extraordinary because they have come here to enjoy this place too. For more information about volunteering at the Manoa Heritage Center, visit their website, manoaheritagecenter.org, or call 808-988-1287.
As you try to figure out Medicare and what kind of supplemental insurance you need, you want a company you can trust. Financial Benefits Insurance is an independent agency. They don't work for an insurance company, they work for you and are experts at helping you navigate your way through Medicare. Hi, I'm back again. This is Ed speaking on Medicare Hints. A lot of people may not realize that they may qualify for extra financial assistance to help pay for their premiums and prescription drug costs, depending on their income and their total assets. These savings can be especially helpful for seniors who are on a fixed income. Find out if you qualify. Call us. As all the agents at Financial Benefits Insurance say, benefits are our business. Service sets us apart. Give us a call or visit our website. Our name is easy to remember, FBI, Financial Benefits Insurance. Welcome back to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. This was my first album uh, that I recorded. Actually, I, I did 45s before this. With a career that has spanned over five decades, 17 solo albums, the Nahoku Hanohano Award for Best Female Vocalist five times has sung all over the world, including the stage at the Grand Old Opry, Melvine Lead is one of Hawaii's consummate performers. You wouldn't believe what I wanted to be. I, music was far from my life. I wanted, first I wanted to be a, a nun. <laughs> Okay, all my friends out there laughing, don't laugh, I don't care. Everything happens from a dream that I have. My grandmother told me that I have this gift, and so I didn't believe it until it started happening to me. And so I dreamt that I was, I was praying for people. So what I did was I went and asked the manager to install a telephone on my stage at the Alamoana Hotel. And what I did was during the day, in the morning, I would call the different hospitals at the terminally ill patients' wards. And they'd give me some names, they'd get permission from the patients. So at eight o'clock sharp, I'd start my show off when I sang my opening number and everything. I'd call that person and the nurse would put the phone by the uh, patient's ear. And I'd, I'd have my audience say, like if his name was Joe, the audience would say, Aloha Joe, or Hi Joe. And then, then I'd say, Joe, what's your favorite song? And, and if they can't speak, I said, I'm gonna sing one for you. And I'd sing a song and dedicate it to that person. And then I'd hang up. And the next morning I'd go and visit to see who I was singing to and take them a present. <laughs> what I'm doing, I have a little prayer table in my home. Yeah, and I also have a prayer garden that I created. All came from dreams. And I saw the angel in my dream coming down to me and kneeling on one knee and holding rocks in her hands. And I saw that there were names, I couldn't see the names. She's telling me something, I gotta go get all these paints and these rocks and everything. I came home and I started doing that and I started praying for them. And I put the rocks in my garden. Every, every time that I pass that rock garden, even while I'm standing there, I'm praying to these people. Thank you. One part of my career, I was struggling and I don't want to mention any names or anything, but I was having a hard time because I was being managed poorly. And the manager was taking most of my money. And I was living on Gerber baby food, would you believe? My family didn't know, that this is the first time I'm revealing, I'm revealing it publicly. And I was, I was losing a lot of weight. I went to Molokai and I collapsed on, sta on stage because I was so thin from uh, malnutrition. And I ended up in the hospital there. And, um, and recovered from that, that was like a wake-up call. At that time, you don't know, you know, you just learn as in the process. So I'll try this, if this doesn't work, I'll try that. But this time I won't let myself fail, yeah? Yeah, I'm never gonna live on Gerber baby, baby food again. Although when I had my daughter, I loved the food. <laughs> I knew exactly what to feed her, especially the sweet potato <laughs> and the applesauce. No, you're still, no, you're still dragging it. It's okay. I'm in the mood. Yes. Okay. It's not I'm in the mood, okay? Every time I watch her sing, it's like, it's the first time I'm watching her perform. So that feeling that she gives me, it's something that I want to give to other people. She's sharing her wisdom, her mana, her knowledge of things that she has, you know, gone through experiences in life. And it is nice, you know, for someone like me and for everyone else um, to just kind of look up to her and, and see that. And she's sharing it. 
I, like her fans, like all of her fans, know that she's a fantastic entertainer on stage. But off stage, a lot of people don't realize that there is a fearless, adventurous Melvin Lee. I was a free diver when I was 55 years old, and I dived pretty deep, 50 feet without a tank. Well, this one wasn't too deep. It was probably about 30 feet, I think, 30 or 40 feet. And I got this in Tahiti. So then they put a hole for me so that I can... songs on here in Nashville were all one takes. One take. And these musicians were that good. And, and if there was a mistake, it was them, not me. Because I did my homework before I went into the studio. Ole! <laughs> Stay tuned for more of Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. When you're going over your Medicare options, the different plans can be confusing. At Copeland, we'll be happy to help you select and customize the health plan that best fits your needs and budget based on your current providers and medications. We provide the service at no cost or obligation to you. And something you might not be aware of, you could be eligible for financial help to pay for your prescription drugs. If you have questions about Medicare, we have the answers. Call Copeland Insurance Group at 808-591-4877. Kevin Kaneshiro from Vacations Hawaii with another travel tip. A sure way to make a long flight go quicker is with entertainment. Our charter flight offers complimentary entertainment and it is easy to use. On the screen, hit the start button, select English for language, then you can select movie, TV shows, music, or games. Now wait a few seconds while it downloads. Now enjoy. For more information, call 591-4777 or BoydVacationsHawaii.com. Do you suffer from stress, fatigue, or other health issues? Find relief at Body and Brain Yoga and Tai Chi. Awaken the natural healing system by connecting the mind and body through stretching, breathing, and movement. Join us for a free class today. Welcome back to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. So welcome back to Generations TV. I'm Percy E. Howard, your host here on Oceanic Cable Channel 16. One of our newest partners today is Anthony Crisco, and you may know him as called the Fashionator. Rolling, if you've heard the term rolling, this is not your typical foam roller. So Anthony, explain to us real quick. So remember this hashtag. Hashtag, it's not a foam roller. The roller is harder. The reason it's harder is to address the tight tissues in your body that are typically harder than the foam roller you're trying to use. It's kind of like cutting that tomato with that old dull knife that you just don't want to throw away. What we do in our classes is we educate people to understand why this roller is better, but more importantly, why it's important to take care of your fascia, the largest organ of your body. I've done a foam roller, and I'm going to tell you right now, guys, this is the better, way better than a foam roller. It gets the parts behind your neck, your bicep, your tricep. But Tony, you do classes all over the, 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 the islands, right? We do uh, monthly classes at Down to Earth on King Street. We have weekend classes in Ko'olina. And we also do this for a lot of caregivers who are taking care of their parents. I teach them how to take care of their parents, whether it's for edema for their feet or for uh, chronic urination. They, they wake up all every hour. We teach them how to provide more comfort for their parents. So if you're wondering what is rolling really and what it really is, is, is actually stretching out your fascia, is that could that say that? Um, I, a better way to say it would be we're rehydrating your fascia and we're also purging cellular waste that causes inflammation. We're pushing out the bad, letting fresh water fill those spaces, which in turn allows your body to reduce inflammation, improve your flexibility, and restore joint mobility that you may have lost. Your fascia is the largest organ of your body, classified in 2012 as such. Fascia is like this loofah sponge. If I dissolved all the protein out of your body, the structure would look like this. The red structure is an artery, brings blood to structures. Blue vein brings old blood away. The clear is a lymphatic vessel, brings the cellular waste away. And the, the wire is your nerve. When your fascia is tight, it squeezes all these structures. You can get a lack of circulation. We free it up restore your function, your body just wants to help you. So if you take care of your fascia, it'll take care of you. So I would highly recommend you take one of the classes. You can Google him or go to your website. Go ahead, it's to thefashionator.com. To your health and to aging well, I always tell people, live well. <laughs>